In this Canva tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how to edit text in Canva. So to get text on our page, generally what we want to do is go over to the text tab in our elements section or our little tabs here on the left. And we could quickly add anything like a heading, subheading, a little body text, or any of these different templated texts. You can also just add a text box by clicking this purple button. But if you click something like add a heading, it's going to automatically put some text out here for you. Now, our text comes with a text box. It has corners that we can drag up and down to scale our text up and down. And we can also move our text box in and out, which then allows the text to wrap within that text box. So you could scale that up and down and get that text box exactly as you'd like. And then as you add text, add text to this text box, you can see how the text wraps right down. Now the other thing you can do is rotate as long as you have this text box selected just like this and that's pretty much it. You can click and drag to move this text box around. It'll line up to different areas of your design here. And then if you click in, you can actually edit the text. So we can click and drag to highlight our text. We can double click to highlight a single word. We can actually lock or actually link, I should say our text so we can hyperlink different pieces of text. If we click off of our text box and then back onto it, we get some other options up here, including these three dots, where we can go in and copy, paste, and duplicate, and delete the text box. We can also use some of the alignment options here, and then here's actually where you can lock the text box. So it's possible you have text that's locked in your document. So for instance, if this text box was locked, I can still hover over it. I just can't edit it unless I click this unlock button right there. So that text box, I just locked it really quick and then unlocked it just as easily. So we've got text out here. You can edit by double clicking in editing text. And then what we can do is if we have some text highlighted or even the text box, we get a bunch of options up here in our toolbar. So you can change your font. You can change your font size. You can uh, adjust for bold, italics, underline, even a strike through. And then you can change the case as well. So you can switch to uppercase or back to uh, the lowercase or whatever case it was, you know, however you capitalized it prior. You can change the font color or text color right here pretty easily. And then all these options, by the way, then show a panel here on the left where you can make those adjustments. You can also adjust the alignment. So you can be left aligned, justified to your text box. You see how it each line it uh, spaces out so it touches the edge of the text box. You can see how that text kind of moves in and out. And then you can keep going with this left, middle, right, or justified. We can also add bullet, a bulleted list and we can adjust the spacing between not only our letters but also the line spacing between lines. And then we can adjust where this text anchors in our text box. You see how when I adjust line spacing it pushes the text down well, we could tell the text to anchor to the bottom, and if we adjust the line space, it actually pushes it up. Same thing with the center. We can adjust, and it'll push them both out from the center. So a couple different options there. Some of them are useful, especially like if you were to put this text on the bottom of your page and you wanted it to maybe lift up rather than down, that's where you could anchor it to the bottom. We also have some effects here, so we could add shadows to our text. We can uh, add some different neon, you know, really quick effects to our text. We can change the text color to make this look a little bit better, like going to pink. Now it looks like some neon pink text. Uh, back to effects. So you have curve here as well. So you can actually curve text. We got it down there. So let's move it up. So you can curve text and do a lot with that. You know, the text box can scale that up and down. And you have a lot of different options here. Uh, you can see the curve option down here. So some of these effects actually have different uh, parameters that you can change as well. So lots of options in effect. You can animate text just like any other element. You can also adjust the position. So that kind of pulls up a little width and height, X and Y values, rotation, as well as the alignment on your page. And when you have position clicked, you can actually click over to layers. And here's another spot where you'll see if you have overlapping elements and something is locked underneath, you'll actually see, let's lock this text really quick, this little lock icon right here. But you can get to different elements and select them just like that real quick and easily. If we right click on that layer, we can unlock it. So 
that is oh last thing last thing here is transparency so transparency you know we can make text more or less transparent and see through and that's kind of uh, an option for any sort of element here in canva but yeah that is a, a little rundown of how you can edit text and um, play around with text here in canva i believe if you press t for the type tool or maybe just press t in general it'll just add some paragraph text out here so if you don't have anything selected and just press t you can get some text in your document really quick uh, so t for text or type pretty easy to remember that's how you can edit text here in canva